Hey all, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a well and truly unleashed the inner child. Yeah, look at this little beauty. Look at it. That's mint. This is a 124th scale. Uh, very cheap. I bought it off a website called Banggood. I think at the time it was. 37 quid but I think I think it's gone back up to about 60 quid now when I looked last um, this is a Hobby Plus brand um, I do believe there is another brand that it looks exactly the same it is the exact same car it's just got a different brand on it so I'll leave Amazon affiliate link for you in uh, description as well as the link to where I bought this from just pick which one you you find as best price obviously Amazon you'll get it quicker I think but what we're gonna do <coughs> is I'm not gonna bore you with a review of it because there's there's a lot of reviews if you're watching this video you've probably already seen many um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna test it out, make a few obstacles, um, see what bits of wood and everything I've got laying around, see if I can make something really challenging for it. Um, so, while I'm digging out some scrap bits of wood and everything to build a course with this, I have actually already made some courses uh, using the hot glue gun and cardboard, very inexpensive but very effective way. It's only a very light car. Cardboard is plenty good enough to be able to make a challenging obstacle for you. Uh, especially now winter's coming. But this this is it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, my inner child has well and truly been released. Um, I have actually bought another crawler this size. But that'll be in another video. I might leave you a little sneak peek here. Um, that one was quite a bit more expensive than this, but it's it's worth it. Um, yeah, so I can see me getting <laughs> getting quite a collection of these little cars. Um, not bad to say. I only got my old stuff out so I could fix it and sell it. I ended up getting addicted to them again. Um, yeah, so show you a video of them other obstacles I've made while I try and figure out something else to make for it. So this is another one that I made up. So we'll just take you for a quick run over it. <laughs> seen the track let's see if we can do it one-handed
Right, so got some uh, scrap bits of wood, powered up a couple of my tools. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hot glue gun and my nail gun and just quickly make something challenging for it. If you're curious, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this from. Uh, it is a very, very good tool to be honest. I have done a review. If you want to just, if I remember, I'll leave a card up here. Uh, if not, you just have a look on my channel. It's on there somewhere. Right, so I'm going to quickly make some out of this and then uh, get this little VOT a test. Right, here we go. This is the uh, the first item, as you can tell. It's a bit of a seesaw, slightly balanced heavy at that side, so that it returns. Very simple design. Uh, some screws in there. These screws have got like no thread at this section so that they, they spin nice and freely. So let's get a test, see uh, see if I can do it. I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit more difficult than what it looks. Right, can you see? Right, let's have a go. This little thing's brilliant. Oh, we're making it up. Come on, you little beauty. Climbing, it's not a problem. Oh, come on. It's going to bounce off, I know it is. Look at that! <laughs> Almost bounced off. I actually reversed it back a little bit there. Uh, I don't. I think it would have just fully bounced off if I'd not done that. Let's see if we can make it all the way down. Well, we've got one wheel off. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Beauty! <laughs> God, that's mint, must admit. It's great being a big child. A lot of fun. Uh, right, let's see what else we can make. Um, but then again, I don't know. It's uh, it's bloody freezing here today. I, I can hardly feel my fingers now. So I think what I might do is I might build something else when I reveal my other one and uh, we'll see what that one can do so for now remember if you don't mind whack that subscribe button finally got over a thousand subscribers yeah thanks for that everybody well appreciate it um, and yeah we'll be seeing a bit more RC stuff especially over the winter um, or until I get bored of it. If you've followed my channel, you know I tend to mix it up a bit. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.